Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Yusuf. The Royal Court has announced that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa will lead Bahrain's delegation at the 42nd GCC summit in Saudi Arabia. His Majesty the King will leave for Saudi Arabia tomorrow. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at the Bia Palace. The cabinet extended its congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and to His Royal Highness on the occasion of the Kingdom of Bahrain's celebration of the National Day in commemoration of the establishment of the modern Bahraini state during the era of its founder Ahmed Al Fatah, as well as the anniversary of His Majesty's accession to the throne. The cabinet also congratulated Bahraini citizens on this national occasion, praising the kingdom's comprehensive achievements led by His Majesty the King. The Cabinet commended the outcomes of the talks held by His Majesty the King and the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. The Cabinet noted the importance of His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman's visit to the Kingdom and its role in further bolstering bilateral relations. The talks affirmed the united position of the two kingdoms towards various regional and international issues and developments. The Cabinet lauded the outcomes of the second meeting of the Saudi Bahraini Coordination Council, co chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman. The Council aims to improve integration between the two kingdoms across various fields within the framework of well-established bilateral relations. In this regard, the Cabinet outlined the topics addressed during the Saudi Bahraini Coordination Council meeting, which includes a package of major investment projects in the Kingdom of Bahrain and the investment of $5 billion from several Saudi authorities and funds in development projects within the Kingdom. The Cabinet commended His Majesty the King's vision to further strengthen the values of understanding and cross-cultural communication, which has placed Bahrain as an inspiring model in promoting tolerance and openness. In this regard, the Cabinet welcomed uh, the inauguration of the new Our Lady of Arabia Cathedral in Awali under His Majesty's patronage. The Cabinet noted the meeting between His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and the Vice President of the Prime Minister of the UAE and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. The Cabinet also congratulated the UAE on the success of the Formula One Etihad Airways Abu Dhabi Grand Prix 2021, noting the efforts made to successfully host this important event in a way that enhances the region's position in the world of motorsports. The Cabinet also decided to increase the support provided through the financial support program for low-income families by 10% following consensus on the issue by the Council of Representatives. The Cabinet expressed its thanks and appreciation to the members of the Council of Representatives and the Shura Council for their constant commitment to enhance cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities in supporting the enhanced progress of development that benefits Bahraini citizens. The Cabinet also thanked the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance, headed by the Deputy Prime Minister, for leading the coordination meetings with the Council of Representatives. On the occasion of Bahrain Police Day, the Cabinet highlighted the role played by the Ministry of Interior's employees in consolidating security to support national achievements, noting that in this regard, the recent visit of His Royal Highness to the Ministry of Interior, which reaffirmed the Kingdom's appreciation for their efforts in enhancing public safety. To mark Commemoration Day, the Cabinet paid tribute to fallen servicemen who have made the ultimate sacrifice for the security of Bahrain and the safety of its citizens. Within the framework of the Royal Order to build 40,000 housing units, His Royal Highness directed for the distribution of 2,000 housing units to citizens before the end of the month. He directed the Ministry of Housing to make necessary preparations to start distributing housing units within East Sitra City, Khalifa City, Salman City and East Had City starting from December 14th. The Cabinet affirmed its commitment to continuously follow up on global development regarding COVID-19 and its mut mutations, ensuring Bahrain's readiness to take the necessary measures to protect public health. The Cabinet stressed the importance of adhering to the precautionary measures and receiving a vaccine and a booster shot in order to safeguard the public health. The Cabinet expressed its best wishes for success of the upcoming 42nd session of the GCC Summit, which will be hosted by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia on December 14th. The Cabinet expressed its hopes that the session will yield decisions and recommendations that further enhances GCC cooperation and the aspirations of the people of the region for security, stability and development. The Cabinet additionally expressed that Kingdom of of Bahrain's solidarity with the United States following the tornado events that hit a number of states offering condolences to the families of the victims.
The Cabinet then approved the following memorandums. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding naming the Minister of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning as the Minister who will respond to the Legislative Authority on behalf of the Real State Regulatory Authority. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding an MOU between the Survey and Land Registration Bureau and the United States of America's Department of Defense regarding marine surveys and other related activities. And a memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding the government's response to three proposals by the Council of Representatives. The Cabinet then reviewed the following memorandum. A memorandum by the Minister of Housing regarding the latest developments in housing projects. The Cabinet then took note of the ministerial report regarding Bahrain's participation in the meeting of the 150th session of the Ministerial Council of the GCC, the 29th meeting of the Executive Office of the Arab Ministerial Council for Tourism, and the 24th session of the Arab Ministerial Council for Tourism. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa attended the Formula One Etihad Airways Abu Dhabi Grand Prix 2021 held at the Yas Marina Circuit. His Royal Highness noted that the region has become a home for Formula One races due to the unique capabilities and experience that GCC countries possess. He extended his congratulations to the President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, to the Vice President, Prime Minister of the UAE and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and to the Crown Prince. Of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, on the successful hosting of the race. His Royal Highness wished the UAE and the organizers success in hosting the future races. His Royal Highness was given a tour of the Yas Marina circuit and was briefed on the fi final preparations being made for the race. At the circuit, His Royal Highness met with His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, as well as with a number of other high ranking officials. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the Secretary General of the Interparliamentary Union Martin Chungong at Ghaibiya Palace. His Royal Highness affirmed that Bahrain's comprehensive development efforts led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa have made the country a model for success. He welcomed Chungong and noted his efforts to achieve the Interparliamentary Union's goals. His Royal Highness emphasized the importance of strengthening cooperation with regional and international institutions in order to support Bahrain's legislature. The Secretary General expressed his gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness and praised His Royal Highness's commitment to strengthening international legislative cooperation and wished Bahrain continued progress and growth. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the honorary president of the IPU, Gabriela Cuevas Baron, in the presence of the Director General of the Office of the Representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Abdullah Zain. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the kingdom, as a result of the reform project of His Majesty the King, has a remarkable democratic experience based on solid foundations laid by His Majesty the King. He noted that the royal vision of His Majesty the King transformed Bahrain into a modern country constitutional democratic kingdom. His Highness added that Bahrain has a leading parliamentary experience at the regional, continental and global levels as a result of the parliamentary role in legislating and enacting laws that concern the kingdom in various fields. For her part, the honorary president of the IPU stated that the follow follower of the democratic march of the kingdom will realize its strength and prominence as a result of the interest of His Majesty the King and his reform project, which established democratic principles in Bahrain during the meeting means of cooperation operation were reviewed, a number of topics of common interest were discussed. The National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the British Minister of Armed Forces James Hapi. The meeting reviewed cooperation, especially in exchanging military and defense expertise. His Highness praised the deep-rooted historic bilateral relations and affirmed the keenness to consolidate peace and security in the region.
under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, honored the winners of the second edition of the Bahrain Royal Night Half Marathon Race, organized by Bahrain Athletics Association at Bahrain International Endurance Village, with the participation of a number of the top world runners. His Highness witnessed the race and gave the signal to start the 21.1 kilometer race. At the end of the race, His Highness honored the top five winners with medals and financial rewards. Following the honoring, the President of Bahrain Athletics Association presented His Highness with a commemorative gift. His Highness expressed thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King for patronizing the race, which is a source of pride for the sports family and a demonstration of His Majesty's keenness on supporting the youth and sports sectors. His Highness hailed the success of the second edition of the race, affirming that His Majesty's patronage was the main reason behind its distinction. He commended the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to the development of the sports sector. He also praised the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nasser and his keenness on continuing to develop Bahraini sports. His Highness expressed pleasure in the success of the race in terms of attendance, competitiveness between runners, the quality of the organization, and the media coverage. He hailed the efforts of Bahrain Athletics Association, led by Mohammed Abdel Latif bin Jalal, the organizing committee, and all the other participating committees. He congratulated the winners, wishing the other participants better luck in the next edition. The president of Bahrain Athletics Association honored the top five winners with medals and financial rewards. The Speaker of the Representatives Council for Zia Zainal received the Inter-Parliamentary Union Secretary General Martin Chungong. Zainal said that the Kingdom has presented an official request regarding Bahrain's readiness to host the General Assembly of the IPU in 2023. The Speaker stated that the move to host the largest international parliamentary assembly is based on Bahrain's advanced inst institutional structure, highly praised democratic progress and expanded parliamentary experience achieved as a result of the unlimited support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. She added that 
that the Council of Representatives is keen on bolstering cooperation with friendly parliaments to enhance joint action with international parliamentary institutions. Zainal stated that deepening the role of legislative councils and unifying positions and visions on issues and topics of shared interest is the pri priority of the National Assembly in Bahrain. Chungong commended Bahrain's advanced levels in enhancing parliamentary performances in the service of the people of Bahrain and stressed that the Bahraini democratic experience is widely appreciated for its great and growing development. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, attended the National Initiative for Agricultural Developments event to green the council's courtyard with the secretary general of the initiative, Sheikh Amaran bint Isa Al Khalifa, in attendance. The chairman affirmed the positive results of the initiative led by Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa. He said that the initiative aims to support and unify the efforts in the agricultural sector and express appreciation for ongoing efforts to meet the strategic objectives through various initiatives, prizes, and incentives. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, received the Interparliamentary Union Secretary General, Martin Chungong. The Saleh affirmed that the legislative authority in Bahrain is open into all world parliaments and legislative councils, noting that building relations with parliaments comes in line with the royal visions and directives to strengthen brotherly and friendly ties that are based on respect and coexistence. The Saleh hailed the high level of cooperation and coordination between the legislative authority and the government, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, in striving to increase national achievements and successes. Al Saleh noted that the Shura Council gives considerable attention to positive participation in various events and activities organized by the IPU, expressing pride in Bahrain's honorable representation in the permanent committees of the IPU. The IPU Secretary General affirmed that the notable progress that Bahrain is witnessing in all fields reflects the ambitious visions of and future aspirations that ensure sustainable development and prosperity. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, participated in the joint ministerial meeting in Riyadh held by Minister of Foreign Affairs of the GCC, chaired by the Saudi Minister of Foreign Affairs, His Highness Prince Faisal bin Farhan Al Saud, with Egypt's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Samah Shikri, and in the presence of the Secretary General of the GCC, Dr. Naif Al Hajra. They reviewed the strong relations between the GCC countries and Egypt, discussing means of further strengthening ties at all levels. They also stressed the importance of supporting peace efforts in the interests of the region. For his part, the Egyptian minister stressed that the security of the GCC is crucial to Egypt, noting the need to intensify coordination to enhance security and stability in the region. He also expressed his confidence in the success of the GCC summit on December 14th.